so students next we will discuss about the apiculture what is apiculture apiculture means the rearing caring of the honey bees for getting the honey and the other useful products okay so what is apiculture here that is maintenance of hives of honey bees for the production of honey now what are the benefits of honey that we will get from the honey bees they contain the high nutritive value they produces the bees wax which is used in various industries and it is also used for making the several medicines next is for making the cosmetics also and in the various polishes so these are the various benefits of honey now next is that the quality of the honey it depends upon the pasturages now what is pasturages pasturages that is the flowers which are available to the honey bees for collecting the nectar and the pollen grains for producing the honey okay listen again it is the flowers pasturages means the flowers which are available to the honey bees for collecting the nectar and pollen grains for the production of the honey okay so the quality of the honey it depends upon the flowers the quality of the honey which is produced by the honey bees it depends upon the flowers upon the pasturages now next is the next word is apiary what is apiary apiary it is related with the bees bees farms it is related with the bee farms okay and the apiary it can be established even in the verandas even in the courtyards okay because this culture means this apiculture it requires a very small area for the production of the honey by the honey bees and you can do it as a side business also okay as a side business also because it because it requires a very less time now next is the important points for the successful beekeeping that should be remember in points that what you should know before doing the apiculture so knowledge of the nature and the habits of the bees you should have the knowledge of the nature and habits of the bees next is selection of suitable location for keeping the bee hives okay then location you have to find out it should be a suitable location where you have to keep the bee hives next is you know how to catch the group of the bees okay next is management of bee hives during different seasons means the different seasons they require the different kind of the management next is you know how to handle or how to collect the honey after the production of the honey by the honey bees and honey bees they give they have an advantage means they how they helpful in the crop production because they act as the bees pollinator they act as the pollinators they act as the pollinators for the several species like for the sunflower for the sunflower for the brassica for the apple or for the pears also okay so they help in pollination and in this manner they help in increasing the yield also okay so this is all about the api culture so students next we will discuss about the fisheries so what are fisheries from the name also it is clear that it is the catching processing or selling of fish shellfish or other aquatic organisms okay so now what are the other aquatic organisms here like the prawns 
and crabs, lobsters. Okay, so these are the other organisms, other aquatic organisms. So rearing, caring, breeding of these organisms, aquatic organisms, this is known as the fisheries. And a large part of the population of our country, it depends upon the fish for consuming it as a food over the fish and the other aquatic organisms. Now, what are the freshwater fisheries and what is marine fisheries? Now, all of you know about the freshwater and the marine water. Okay, freshwater like the river, lakes, ponds. They are considered as the fresh water and the marine water like the having the salt concentration like oceans. So the fisheries means which occur in the fresh water it is considered as the fresh water fisheries and mainly these organisms like cattle, rohu, common carp they are known as the fish water, fresh water fisheries and the second is marine fisheries. So mainly these organisms, they are the example like hilsa, sardines, mackerel and pomfret. These are the examples of the marine fisheries. Okay. And fisheries that are also of the two types that is the capture and the culture fisheries. Capture fisheries and culture fisheries. So now we will discuss about the culture and the capture fisheries. Culture fishery means to obtain the fish through fish farming and it is undertaken mainly near the sheep, near the seashore region or artificially in the port. But capture, capture fishery means just to catch the fish from the natural resources through the nets. So this is known as the capture fishery. Now next is the difference between the pisciculture and aquaculture. As both of these they are related with the fisheries also. So what is the main difference between the pisciculture and aquaculture? That pisciculture and aquaculture they are the types of the culture fisheries. They are the type of the culture fisheries. Means that we obtain the fish through the fish farming. Okay. But here pisciculture it is related with the culture of the fish only. It is related with the culture of the fish only. And aquaculture it is related with the culture of fish as well as crabs, prawns, oysters, etc. Means the other aquatic organisms also. So that is the main difference between the pisciculture and the aquaculture. And these aquaculture and pisciculture, they are related with the blue revolution. Okay, means the culture that is related with the water. So that's why it will considered as the blue revolution.